high on. The greatest nightmare that a NEET student face is that negative market. Here Granthas is going to unveil to you certain secrets. When followed correctly, you can get rid of that nightmare called negative market. First answer a vital question. When do you require food? Answer is simple. Yes, when you are hungry. My dear student, when do you need your powers? When a time arises to show that you are really talented. Yes, need examination is that day. So give yourself a full confidence that this is the day where I should get my maximum memory power, my maximum focus and concentration. So I am stress free. This mental attitude is going to bring you lot amount of energy. The second very important point is you need to overcome that tendency to answer all the questions. See, answering all the questions is a common tendency found among neat good answers. There, you need to practice one secret method and that is called accuracy. What is it? Yes, accuracy. Every mock test, you need to practice accuracy. Accuracy can be calculated by a simple equation, number of questions answered right, divided by total number of questions attempted into 100. See that whatever be the mock test you write, you follow 90% above accuracy. That is, out of the total questions answered, number of questions you are going to make it right should be more. Getting me? Third important point is, attempting a need examination is running like a marathon race. You are going to just cover three laps of running. In the first lap, take up 120 minutes totally. Here you need to answer those questions who are easy and well acquainted. You have done such sort of questions before and you can nearly take 30 to 40 seconds per question. 30 to 40 seconds per questions and you can take a total of 120 minutes for the first lap. For the second lap, come to those questions which you have left as hard and logical, which you have not prepared for, which you have not done. Take 30 minutes time and you can spend one minute for completing that round of questions. Coming to the third lap, it is the last revision lap. Try elimination strategy or exclusion principles. For example, certain questions, when you are given up with four options, you can eliminate two options correctly when you understand certain logical terms. For example, homozygous, heterozygous, hemizygous. You know the meaning of homo, hetero and hemi. You can have a very good guess. That is the third lap. While running through those laps, you know, in order to find those questions which are unattempted, never pass through the question paper, go through the OMR sheets. Those questions which are unattempted, go and then find out. So, first lap 120 minutes, second lap next 30 minutes, that is 150 limits, and the third lap is the revision last 30 minutes, which comprises of 180 minutes good trial. The fourth one is, how to remain stress-free. My dear student, just when you are into an examination hall, just close your eyes. Try to remember that you are in your dream medical college. Now, rewind yourself. Come back from there. In order to be there, you need to give your best. If you need to put your best, you need to be with yourself. So, believe in your own God-released powers and be with yourself. The fifth and the last point is, there are two types of students. The first student is that, who reads a question, arrive at the answer and then go marking it. The second student follows in another pattern. He reads up first 10 questions, answer it and then he marks 1, A, 2, B, 3, C. Now. In the second time, 
even though if you can save time, there is a probability that you go wrong in marking. So if you belong to that second category, you will have to focus your mind two times than the first student does. Getting into a medical college is your dream. If you have a dream, go achieve it. Thank you.